Sup dudes, I'm Nate Heater. And I'm Frank Lamantia. And we're Sup dudes. dudes. This is our very first video, so we decided to make it a movie review about a movie we watched about... Five minutes ago? About five minutes ago, yeah. We're our first movie of the year. And we're still in the parking lot, actually. As you can tell, we're in our car. And we just saw WW84 or Wonder Woman 84 for those. Right. And the WW stands for... We, we wonder, wonder why they made this movie. Honestly, I I couldn't bear to watch a lot of it. It's it about two and a half hour runtime. Yes. And, and I wish I could have run from the theater. <laughs> Honestly, there is just a lot of stuff about this movie that I just, just didn't understand. There's too much dead time. A lot of dead time. We were talking too much about dialogue, it. which oh I my didn't God, think would be a bad thing, but it is. And then like just and, like me, I'm a stunt person. Like I'm, I'm big in like action and stunts and everything. Mm -hmm. There's just too much stuff that it was like too close up camera cut ups or like too many camera cuts or like the use of yeah. wiring and rigs was yeah. just. If you suffer it. from motion sickness, don't watch this movie. No, and you shouldn't watch this movie anyway because you're gonna get sick. So yeah, so basically, <laughs> um, we should give a quick rundown about the movie, kind of, right? Shouldn't we? Uh, nah, don't. Bother. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> the best part about the movie is the part with the little girl in the beginning. <laughs> it's kind of like the first part of it. Both the TV series and the movie where the, the young actors were great and the adult actors were horrible. So, similar idea. Alright, so basically, a short little summary I just want to tell people about is that... If we must. There's a magical, like, wishing stone. I don't know what the name was. Yeah, some stone. There's some stone in here that it will grant you wishes. But just like in the monkey's paw, if you guys ever heard of that, if you haven't... Look it up. Look it up, basically, yeah. It will grant you a wish, but it will take something away from you. Right. And I don't want to spoil too much about the movie if you want to see it, but that's a big factor is that there's a bunch of wishes being granted and you have to basically go through and see what gets taken away from people as it goes on. Now, I know we're talking bad about the movie a lot. Yes. Like, I mean, there was like some stuff was like the all music, right. The music was great. It was a <laughs> Hans Zimmer, right? Yeah, I think it was yeah. something like that. If not, we'll excellent, correct it. Excellent music. Like, music was good. There was some action stuff that I would say that was all right. Yeah, the like action passable. was good. Some of the fight scenes were good. I mean, the acting was subpar, in my opinion, though, at times. Mm -hmm. um, the, the the villain, I just wanted him to die. He was horrible. I wanted him to die well, right from the beginning. Well, wanted him to die anyway. Yeah, of course. He's but like, a terrible actor, horrible facial expressions. Yeah, but there's a difference between wanting him to die because of he's a good villain actor and like wanting I'm him to die because he's a horrible actor because he's a horrible <laughs> character that you just don't want to see anymore in the movie exactly, that's the thing exactly. i mean overall guys i wasn't too big of a fan of it i mean it's all right if you saw like the first one you kind of want to keep going with the story there's a surprise at the end though that we didn't see that was i'm not going to ruin it in case yeah, you guys like i said you want to see nice, it but, so yeah so on a scale of one to ten guys i have to give this movie about like a 5.3. I mean, there's a bunch of movies out there. Very generous. <laughs> there's a bunch of movies out there, guys. And you know that there's a lot of bad movies. This is a passable movie. Oh, so you're, save, you're saving the lower end for some more movies. <laughs> I mean, this is the very first movie of our that's segment. True, this is the very true. first movie that's of the true. year. We have to go subpar. Like, I mean, 5.3, yeah. like you okay. said, that's generous. I'm going to go with that. Okay, well, I think there's still uh, plenty of room. At the lower end, so I would give it like a 2.5. Really? A 2.5? Yeah. Yeah, only because of the first couple of scenes with the little girl and <laughs> the, the actual girl. Amazons on the island. That was a great couple of scenes. Yep. So, so average score is going to be this. All right, guys. So long story short, we highly wouldn't recommend this movie no, whatsoever. No. I don't know if you would. Save your money. If it comes on cable, you want to watch it or Netflix or wherever, whatever you get your movies from. We won't tell. No. But no. Uh, save your money. All right, guys. Not worth it at all. All right, guys. That's our final review. And that's... What's, what's up, up, dude? <laughs> we'll work out the kinks in it. Yeah. Have a we'll good night. It. We'll get it better next time.